When stacking the fireballs after having installed the volcanic ash into the burner pan, completely filling it underneath the baffle as, and all the way as much as you can, you start placing the fireballs on the bottom tier. They are placed in uh, rows that are nestled up against each other and creating that um, pocket between the four different adjacent balls. You want to arrange the fireballs in a manner in which it's an even distribution across the surface of the burner pan. When you go to the second and, and subsequent tiers, you're placing the balls in the pockets created by the four adjacent balls on the lower tier, and then just filling in. And along the way, you want to give it a little nestle. You want to make sure that the bottom of the fireballs is pointed down. You can even angle it towards the back, but you want to make sure when you're doing it that the fireballs are in there tight. You want to give it a little bit of nudge and see if you have something loose, then readjust again to make sure that it's a nice stable stack. This is a completed stack with uh, four tiers and four rows front to back. And now this stack, if it is put together in a, in a correct manner where you have the bottom tier is kind of nestled into the volcanic ash, into the pan filler, and then the, the rest of the fireballs are placed into the pockets and adjusted so that they're nice and stable, not loose. You should be able to lift the burner pan, as I've done here, at several different times, and uh, it should remain as a stable stack. It's a very heavy stack, so I don't really recommend doing this at home, but this is the uh, result of having stacked fireballs in such a manner. It's not going to be easily moved by, uh, definitely not by flame, perhaps not even by earthquake.